Fair RNA scientist, do you also feel like you've got too many software to choose from and don't know which one to pick for your data analysis? We often feel that way, and this is why we have drafted a manifesto and a practical guide to encourage the community to collaboratively develop fewer, better, and fairer software for RNA bioinformatics. So who are we? We recruited eight anonymous animals who, over the course of time, turned out to be controlled by the following non-anonymous humans. Angela Chan, Matthew Crum, Christina Herman, Alex Kanitz, Brenda Miao, Kimberly Olney, Joel Simono, and Mathieu Canavalia. That's me. So what have we been up to in the past three days? First, we conducted a small survey among HackSeq participants and found that most of you who took the survey find that there are considerable barriers and limitations when it comes to using software for your research. For example, most people think that software is often not intuitive, is no longer supported, cannot be easily worked into an analysis pipeline, is poorly documented, or that there are just too many different options to pick from. Encouraged by these results, we drafted a manifesto. The manifesto contains a preamble as well as individual guidelines for developers, users, and publishers with the intent of fostering collaborative development, good coding practices, and transparency. All guidelines are annotated with a small justification explaining why we feel it to be important. In addition to the manifesto itself, we have also started to work on a practical guide that uh, accompanies the manifesto and provides concrete entry points for developers, users, and publishers. For example, here you can see some of the practical annotations for rules dealing with development, such as the use of well-maintained workflow languages to write analysis pipelines, document your projects, and uh, subject your code base to rigorous and continuous testing. As you can see, for each guideline, we have added a section where we explain concepts that may be unknown to readers, followed by a small set of link outs for further reading. For the coming days and weeks, we are planning to polish our survey, hopefully get IRB approval for it and share it with the RNA community. We would like to further extend the practical guide and publish the manifesto in the Biohack Archive preprint server and hopefully eventually in a peer-reviewed journal. Most importantly, we want to further engage the community and get broad support for the manifesto. In this regard, we provide links here that allow you to co-sign the manifesto by giving a thumbs up on a GitHub issue and provide feedback on the same issue. We also provide a link to check out the manifesto to see whether you comply with it as a developer, user, or publisher. So please get on board, we want to hear from you. Last but not least, we want to thank all of you, especially the HackSeq organizers for giving us a chance to kickstart the project during this great event, the IRNA COSI community for hosting and supporting the project, Melissa Wilson of Arizona State University for agreeing to help us gain IRB approval for using our survey results, and Mihaela Zavalan from the University of Basel and Josef Rasch from the University of Pennsylvania for their continued support for the project. Thank you.